Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In this recap, we're going to be going over what we did on this past Wednesday's Go Live session. Now, what we did was, or what we're about to do, that's why this desk is really high up, is uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and learn how to draw the mouth and some ears. Now, with that said, um, it's actually not too hard. Uh, the reason why we're doing it is because we did eyes and the nose last time. Uh, so in order to round that out, we're just going to do the nose, oh, sorry, the mouth and the uh, ears today. The next week will be the head shape and then the hair. And then that will conclude that unit of self-portrait. So anyways, enjoy this recap. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, with that said, would anyone like to volunteer to show the class art-wise what you've done so far? Anyone want to share anything you've done the past four weeks? It doesn't need to be uh, my class related. Anything art-wise? Anyone want to share? <laughs> All you got to do is raise your hand. And I will pick on you. Will's raising his I hand. I see a finger on Alex, uh, Alex Tran, but uh, I don't think he's volunteering. Though. Anyone else? Will is raising his hand. Uh, Miss Surik or anyone, do you see anyone on your cameras that are raising their hand that they want to share? Will. Or Miss Pross, do you see anyone that you hear me? want to share on your screen? Well, will McCarthy is raising his hand. Yeah, can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear uh, you. I can, I can too. You. Okay. Will, did you want to share? Me too. Yes. Yes. I can't ahead, see anything, so you're going to have to unmute yourself to say hi, and then you'll pop up on my screen. I am unmuted. I am unmuted. Anyone want to share their artwork? He is unmuted. Anything. Mr. Mel. Mr. Mel. Everyone, we should type it in oh, the chat. Really? Will, we can hear you. Hold on, hun. I think he muted us. That's why. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? Why don't I... Will, yeah, go ahead and that. share while Mr. Mill figures it out. Show us. I know you want okay. him to see too, but he'll, he'll check it out when he goes back in. This is the piece of artwork that I did yesterday for art. It was the um, padding one. I thought it turned out really well. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. That looks really good. Good job. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, sorry about that. I must have had technical issues. But yeah, good job. Anyone else want to share? Landon has his hand up. Okay, Landon, you want to share? When I was like away on um vaca vacation, um I drew this. Let me take a look. Uh, put it a little bit higher so I can see. Let me um okay. um so then I. Can... Oh, looks well, great. That's what awesome. What your lizard? Sweet deal. All right. Anyone else want to share? We do have time for maybe like at least one or two more, and then we gotta get going. Um, I don't see any hands raised on my screen. Kiara O'Dowd. Okay, let's try Kiara then. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went to a painting place. I don't know if the painting by me, but I went to a painting place a couple of weeks ago. Uh, okay. Anyone hey, else? Gabriel has his hand up. All right, Gabriel, you want to unmute yourself so I can see you? Hello. I drew this. Uh, I see you. Oh, you did the eye. Nice job. Cool. All Thank right. You. Do we have time for one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Riley right, Mishler's got hers up. Riley Mishler? Where is she? Riley? She's holding it up. You got to unmute so he can hear, he can see you, honey. Oh, yeah. I can only see nine screens. So. My headphones usually make oh. them not work. Oh, that's okay. So I actually colored this today in between breaks. Whoa, that's a lot of work. Very nice. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to do one more. Uh, I think someone said Zach had his hand up. Yep. Yep. All right. Go ahead, Zach. I just made it just, just, just now. I would love to see it. 
Oh, cool. Sweet job. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my top camera here so you guys can see what I have on my table. So give me one sec as I switch my video camera to this one that I'm pointing to. And um, if you didn't get to share, um, I will have volunteers uh, later, or if not, next week. So you guys can share then. Okay, so here we go. So again, if you want to follow along, all you got to do is have a piece of paper and something to draw with. I was going to do marker, but it's hard to do marker when it comes to portraits. So I'm just going to use this marker just to divide the paper up and to label which is which. So this one's going to be the mouth. And this one's going to be the ear. Now, last week, we did the eyes and the nose. So that's why this week is going to be mouth and ear. Next week is going to be a head shape along with hairstyles. So with that said, if you want to follow along, you can. If you just want to watch, that's OK, too. All right, so here I go. I'm for mouth. Normally, when people draw mouths, there's a couple things that people like to do. When they draw mouths, they kind of start off with like the shape of the top of the lip. They start from one end to the other, and then they do the middle, and then they do the bottom lip. There's two problems with this. The first problem is it's not symmetrical, so one side is gonna look different than the other side. The other problem is that it has like a really incorrect shape because of how it's not symmetrical either. So instead, this is what I'm going to teach you guys how to draw. I'm going to draw a little bit bigger as well. The darkest parts of the face when it comes to portrait drawing are the corners of the lips. So I'm just going to draw little divots on each side to represent the corners of the lips, just like this. Okay. Next step, instead of drawing the top of the lip, the first thing you should be drawing is the inside, basically where the mouth opens. So this line is normally not straight, so you definitely don't want to draw a straight line. Sometimes it's curved, so I'm going to start from the middle. So I'm going to guess it's right there, little curve, and then it's going to curve up and out, just like this. All right, so that's my mouth. Next step, I'm going to draw a line directly in the middle, and it's going to be dividing the mouth in half, and I'm going to be erasing this later. Okay, That way, I can make sure that each side is symmetrical. Next step. I'm going to make sure I draw the line where I think the bottom of the lip starts. I'm going to guess. So I'm going to assume it starts right there. And then the top of the lip, I don't know the exact name of it. It could be anywhere. So some people, their the top lip starts over here. Some people, their top of the lip starts up here. So it doesn't matter to me where you choose. I'm going to start right there for mine. Okay. Now, in order to make it symmetrical, just make sure you go from here and then go to the end of the lip. So some people curve out a lot like this. Some people curve right away to the, to the middle. It's up to you. So I'm just gonna draw mine like this. I'm gonna make sure this line is the exact same on the other side, or at least try at least. There you go. All right, that's the best I can do. All right, next step, top of the lip. I'm gonna make sure I try to connect it like this. And I'll make sure it's symmetrical on the other side, just like this. All right, we have the basic shapes of the lips down. And what I'm going to do now is when people are shading the mouth, normally they kind of go side to side like this. The reason why that's bad is because when it comes really close to your lips and you're looking at a mirror, the lines don't go side to side. They go up and down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go lip to lip. So I'm going to do the top lip first. The reason why I'm doing the top lip first is because it has a little bit of a curve going from the inside or the middle to the out, out like that. So I'm curving my shading a little bit all the way to the end. And then I'm going to do the exact same opposite on the other side, just like this. And then for the bottom lip, same thing, but it curves way more. So maybe I'll start off like this. And then I'm going to start curving up like this. So I'm creating more shadows. And that looks kind of weird right now. That's because I haven't blended it yet. Just like this. All right, next step. I would ask you guys to use a tissue, but since I don't have a tissue, I'm going to use my finger. The number one rule that you're not supposed to do when it comes to realistic drawing because you can get the oils from your fingers onto the drawing. But for this purpose, it still works. 
So it's not completely bad. All right, it's looking good so far, right? All right. Now, once it's blended and it's nice and gray, we are gonna add the highlights. The highlights are a little bit different. Um, so on the top, on the bottom lip, you can kind of see a highlight right up here where the light shines. And then on the top lip, it's kind of showing right over here, nice and thin. That's where the highlights are. And since we use our finger to blend, um, we lost some of the darkness in the middle of the mouth. So what I like to do is I like to go back with my pencil and make those areas darker again. So look what just happened. If I just make these areas darker more, more darker, sorry, <laughs> can't talk today. What happens is that it starts to get more realistic yet again. There we go. Now, in order to finish this off, I'm just gonna add some shadows on the bottom part of the lip by creating lightly sh shades of diagonal lines over here on this side and also on the other side. If you wanna blend it with your finger again, you can. I'm not going to. And then on the inside of the mouth, I'm gonna create some shadows on the top lip going upwards like this. There we go. Now I know it's not as exciting as doing a tutorial of eyes. Mouth is not really the thing that people go to the most when it comes to drawing, but it's good to know. All right, with that said, I am gonna do the bottom half of where the mouth starts for the chin. That way it finishes off the edge of the drawing a little bit, and then maybe a little bit of shading on top a little bit, just like this, like that. So I'm just gonna use my finger to blend a little bit. All right, there we go. That's a good mouth. There we go. All right, so that's the basics of a mouth. There is more advanced techniques, but for fifth grade, I think that's good enough. All right, for the ear, the ear is one of my hardest things I don't like to draw. I still have trouble drawing the ear. All right, so what I'm gonna draw for the ear is I'm gonna draw half the head. Very lightly, because that's not our focus. Our focus is the ear. Now, when people draw the ear, they normally go out like really far like this. That's not good, because we're looking at the ear from the front, so the ear is very thin. So I'm gonna start on top, I'm gonna curve up, go down, and everyone's ear shape is different. Keep that in mind, everyone's ear shape is different, and go like that. And then I'm going to connect it to the head like this. Um, top one, I'm going to connect it from over here halfway. All right, there we go. If you want to erase this line, you can. Oh, no, I only have a minute left. I'm so sorry. I didn't watch my time. All right, I'm going to go Speedy Gonzalez. You guys ready? All right, there is a little divot right in the middle of the ear right here. Kind of like this. Just like that. Now, on the middle over here, it curves up. And I apologize for going fast, so you might have to watch the re-recording of this. Unless you guys want to stick around. I don't think you guys want to. Though. All right. Next up, I'm going to go from here. I'm going to curve out a little bit and curve back in. All right. Over here, I'm going to curve a little bit outwards and stop. And this one right here, I'm going to go down, up, and over. And that's how you draw the inside of the ear. It looks weird, but once you add shading in the correct spots, it'll start to make more sense. So watch where I put my shadings. One right here. A little gray spot right here. This whole inside area is kind of like a light gray. This part here is like a nice dark color of shading. Yeah, it's already 1.30, guys. I apologize. If you guys have to go, you guys can. I'm just going to try to finish this off. All right. There we go. That's how you draw an ear. All right. I apologize for speeding up too fast. Um, if you guys would like to rewatch it, I'll be posting the re-recording later on. Um, but with that said, before you guys go, make sure you guys are filling out that survey in your teacher's classroom. I think that's due by 2.20 today. So make sure you guys uh, finish that off. All right, so with that said, I'm going to end the recording. Oh, uh, yes, I did post the one from last week. I'm going to stop the recording for right now. Let me see if it shaves in my dress.